I like how all the issues are filtered by severity level. Coding and construction work have a lot in common. In coding, we build web and mobile applications. In construction, we build residential and commercial structures. In coding, we give instructions to AI agents to build websites for us. In construction, we have general contractors who take our requests and build houses. Now question for you. What will happen if you go to your general contractor and just tell them, I want my house to look big, the foundation to be here and here, and make it a two-story building. You'll be lucky if your general contractor understands your requests. There is something that goes between you and the general contractor, and that something is called plans. Plans, yes. Do you know how you want your house built? Sure, maybe you do. But to build a structure professionally, you need an architect, a structural engineer, a mechanical engineer, and a civil engineer who can guide you through the process and create a plan to follow so that your structure is secure and safe. When you use AI agent to code, you can surely give it tasks directly, but to build an app professionally, you need that same structure, an architect, a structural and mechanical engineer, but in coding terms. Your AI agent knows how to code, but it needs clear direction if you want it to create something good. And for this task, there is a tool called Tracer. Tracer works with Cursor, Claude Code, Copilot, and most AI coding agents available on the market. We're going to see exactly how Tracer works. It's a free tool and you can start testing it as you're watching this tutorial. Buckle up, we're about to get started. Let's dive deep. All right, let's install this coding assistant. I'm going to click install tracer for free. I'll pick the VS code option, click install, trust publisher and install again. Here you can see a quick walkthrough, define tasks, plan with tracer, generate changes, preview and apply and code with confidence. And it's time to start testing tracer. I'll sign in with my GitHub account so far. The experience has been great. Now I'm going to ask this agent how it's different from Copilot. I want you to see Tracer's interpretation. Look, this is what Tracer says. Its key purpose is to help you understand what code to write and how to structure it. So my introduction was correct. I have this poorly designed web app that I want to fix. Let's try to make Tracer fix it. Let me select a folder called Shark Agochi. This is me trying to recreate a Tamagotchi game, a shark Tamagotchi. I had some issues with that code base and I want Tracer to look into it. Tracer identified several issues, including critical errors, code quality problems, and enhancement opportunities. I'm going to click on generate phases and Tracer is working on the task. Okay, let's start with fixed duplicate and unused code. Tracer is generating the plan. Tracer provided specific steps that need to be executed. The cool thing, it can now give this instructions directly to Copilot. Wow, I can simply click execute and Copilot and it will follow Tracer's directions. Once again, I'm using Copilot, but you can use any other agent. Tracer works with everything. Verify changes done by Copilot. The verification process is in progress and Tracer comes back with a note. The cleanup requested has not been applied. We're going to ask Copilot to fix the issues again. Copilot is working and when it finishes, I'll re-verify everything with Tracer. Once again, Tracer will help me check everything. Reverify. The verification process has started again. The issue is now fixed. I am going to return to the phase breakdown. Go to phase breakdown. Let's create a plan and work on the rest of the issues. You can see how Tracer suggests fixing structural bugs. I'm going to click execute and copilot and verify if the changes were completed correctly. Tracer detected that game config, color palette and render config were only partially integrated. There's still serious structural issues that I'm going to try to fix now. I like how all the issues are filtered by severity level. Re-verify. 
And it looks like Tracer is now happy with the fix. At the re-verification step, everything now looks good. And that's a great ending for this video. This is my Shark Gochi game, 32 by 32 pixels, just like it's supposed to be if you know what I mean. So what do I think about Tracer? Tracer AI is all about structure, about professional grade coding work. For modern age coding, where most tools are designed for vibe coders, more attention should be focused on quality, yes quality. Having something like Tracer in the middle between human coders and AI agents is essential. There are a lot of memes online about vibe coders. I'm pretty sure you, you've seen a lot of those. Vibe coders often get trolled for not knowing what they're actually doing, what they're actually coding. With tools like Tracer, there will be far fewer of those memes. Just like architects and engineers serve as quiet helpers in construction, Tracer is that quiet, but essential essential specialist designed to structure and organize AI coding. Once again, this tool is free. Go ahead and test it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. I'm done for now and I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out.